Hello everyone, and welcome back to the wacky wild world of Wobble Dogs, where unfortunately we have two of our favorite Wobble Pups getting ready to pass on. Lily Spot and Pondweed are actually very old now and going to hopefully be leaving behind a legacy together. I managed to go ahead and snag their genetics and dive into the, um, the simulation chamber just in time. There is going to be one final pup with those two before we need to let them go ahead and pass the torch to new Bobble Pups, who will hopefully become our Wobbly Pup Mermaids! Wait, like, Mer Pups? <gasps> they would be Mer Pups, because there has been a aquatic aquarium update where you can now make a little aquarium room for your Wobble Dogs, which sounds very fun, and like, you might be able to do something quite interesting with some of the legless Wobble Dogs, though exactly what remains yet to be seen. But hey, you throw a gravitational manipulation in there and the next thing you know you have quote unquote swimming wobble dogs which could be quite fun but first we need to find the perfect puppy who is going to help us discover the ocean basically by digging us up or laying us the capsules that we need to be able to go ahead and have the aquarium walls and floor so that we can start getting like into a little bit of a summer splash I like that but all right so pondweed pondweed lily spot Lily Spot looks mostly like this over here. Lots of spots, three heads, tiny wings. And Pondweed looks like this, chunky, kind of like a, a lily pad. I think we're gonna go ahead and we're going to crossbreed a good mix between the two. That really seems to represent the heart of what those amazing puppies were all about. And then we'll see what kind of wacky wild mix we are possibly able to get while keeping an eye out. Oh, you're a very good flyer, aren't you? While keeping an eye out for any extremely rare, unusual things like new wings, new eyes, new ears, or if we get really lucky, even though, you know, this may not be lucky for the dog, that missing front leg that we are really searching for. All right, you're adorable, friend. You're a very good flyer. So I think we're gonna grab you and then we'll grab the little one. And let's look for the wacky, the wild, the wobbly. Uh, or, wow, okay, that's adorable. You're such a good flyer! Wow! I mean, that's I'm not sure how that's going to really help us. <gasps> they could be like the dragonflies at lakes and ponds, of course! Oh, that would be actually really adorable. We already have dragon fruit, too, which is one of our current wobble dogs that I'm very excited to breed. Dragon fruit looks pretty awesome. All right, all right, let's keep the wings going. I like this wing thing. Uh, so far, we're getting pretty similar puppies. Let's see. All right, starting to get a, ooh, that one's kind of a good mix between the two in terms of size. We're getting a bigger, that's for sure. Where'd you go? See, this one looks like a good mix between the two and we can go ahead and see how far we can take some of these jeans. Should we continue with the big squat? I think I'm gonna go ahead and continue with like the wide lily pad look because I'm hoping that we can have a dog that can actually dig. Which means that we might need to really focus on dogs that have the ability to stand on their four or or six or eight legs and be able to, you know, not fall over every time they sneeze. So let's pick you two. And then otherwise, I'm just kind of intrigued to see where the randomness of the genetics might take us the further in we go. Let's see what's on offer. Anything? Oh, I love that green color over here. What a lovely, vibrant green. And I love how the wings are getting so tiny that they're just sort of tucked on the back like this. That's really cute. All right. You guys are doing so good. Look at you. The wacky wild randomness of your jeans. And then, oh, we got some new legs over here. Oh, dear. Okay, we're kind of tangled. Hang on. All right. All right. Hi. So, oh, look at this, puppers. Oh, so all of the green ones now actually have six legs. <gasps> They're reminding me even more of little dragonflies. All right, let's grab these two and see what happens. Hello, you guys. Still, okay, still six legs. I still love the colors. This one's kind of got a cute small face. But the other one, I liked the howl on this one, actually. So we'll mix these two together. All right, we're getting lower and lower on the genetic stability, which always means that you might start seeing some of the really, really, really interesting things. Uh, I like these two, actually. 
I can never decide if ones that are more different from one another or more similar. You just never know what kind of recessive traits might come together or if you mix certain things. Okay, that one's getting really cute. Look at those spots. <laughs> All right, let's see. But let's do these two and let's see where we go. All right, getting some new colors. <gasps> Look at your ears. Oh, this one's really cute. His little horn, or like his horns are a different shape. And he's got a little square nose. Oh, I really like you. Let's try these two. And then, oh, and there we go. Okay, so this is going to be our final puppy. The very final dog between Lily, or, yeah, Lily Spot and Pondweed. And I think we're going to go ahead and name this one, not Pond Lily, because I think we've had that one. Uh, let's see, Spot, Pond, Pond Spot? Pond Spot it is. There you go, little guy. Come on in. I'm gonna try to hatch you before somebody else decides that they're going to lay a fertilized egg in a corner somewhere and take up that space. All right, well, now, Oh, Pondweed! I'm gonna miss you, Pondweed! Oh, and there we go with Lily Spot. Lily Spot! Oh, it's always so sad, friends. It is always so sad. Oh, but it is indeed the way that the, the puppy crumbles. And I suppose it is time then to go ahead and to hatch ourselves a new puppers. So let's actually come in and let's put in one of the dog incubators, you know, for hatching your dog eggs, since that's completely a normal thing that you would absolutely talk about. <laughs> and then let's actually go ahead and let's actually get Pond Spot in here, just because we recently worked on this one and it would be good to go ahead and keep track of some of our bazillions of projects. <gasps> yes! I don't know who unlocked that natural pebble floor, but I'm really proud of you. And oh no, Suitable is growing older. Oh dear, that line might be coming to an end soon. Whatever will we do? Huh. <clears throat> uh, not that I'm, not that I'm, not that, not that that's a, a good thing or anything like that. Uh, suitable, here you go. There we go. And then where's your, where's your chickadont? Chickadont, how do you do? Um, <gasps> Pond Lily, when did you die? Oh my gosh. Okay, Chicka, don't go that way. Oh my gosh, Strawberry Lily. Strawberry Lily. I didn't even get notified that, like, oh, I'm so sorry. Here you go. You you go ahead. I know it's rough. I know it's, like, rough, one may say, even. But unfortunately, I do, I do think that we should not waste the wonderful gift that you have been given of all of that wonderful gut bacteria that, you know, your, your, your parent has inside of them. I mean, I really don't want that to go to waste, so. Oh, Strawberry Lily stopped eating because they're full. Also, Celery, you are surrounded by moss balls and bananas right now, my friend. There you go. Uh-oh, dragon fruit, dragon fruit. Eh. It's actually really fun to have to chase after the puppies right now. Okay, that's mint seed, right? Oh, mint seed, can I not? Okay, mint seed can't get you. Yay, dragon fruit! You're an adult now. Somehow you puppeted inside. Look how cool dragon fruit looks. Somehow dragon fruit puppeted inside of the dog den. I'm not gonna worry about that. <gasps> Celery, you're not green anymore. Or excuse me, mint seed. Mint seed. Mint seed. I need to make you green. I need to make you lean, green, and mean. Well, n not mean. You're already mean though. Or, no, you're high energy. Oh, phew. I thought I, I thought I was still in a little bit of trouble there. Um, mint seed, come here. Come here. Come here. And banana pile. There you go. Uh, meanwhile, Pixie Dust, still struggling to eat, are we? Uh, and then Chicka Don't. Well, you're over here. And then uh, let's see, I need to get downstairs or upstairs. I mean, it's hard to tell where the stairs are around here sometimes. Uh, okay, and here's, there we go. There we go. Somewhere around here, I have a bubble puppy that I could have sworn I needed to take care of. Oh my gosh, where is that dog? Here it is. <laughs> All right, thank goodness we found it. I was really worried, but we found Pond Spot. Aw, hi Pond Spot, there you go. You are, <gasps> Pond Spot got help out with the celery line, of course, because look at this little puppers. They're green, they're not very lean, but that's fine. 
like we've kind of got the long thing going pretty good for the celery lineage um and then when pond spot is ready we can go ahead and feed them the remains of this this puppy so sorry pond spot pond spot is a peaceful aloof pup who has a mysterious personality and uh, likes to be on their own i'm happy to see that they're they're thriving <gasps> Ooh, and pixie dust and dragon fruit are actually both adults now and cublet who is cublet do you want to wake up and eat more of the many 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 raisins i feel like cublet is the essence of raisin at this point because we have fed them almost nothing but raisins. And we have become tiny. We have four tiny heads, a tiny body, very questionable. Those aren't legs. I don't even know. I don't even know <laughs> what to call them. Oh, chicken don't. All right, let's give you some pets. Oh, hey, chicken don't is actually hanging out inside of one of the rooms that we have added. The starfish, one of the new aquatic items. Oh, chicken don't, you're an adult now. All right, there you go. Let's give you some pets. I I am in, okay. This is actually impressive. Check it out. I think you're better off laying on your back and like just sort of very sadly scooting from place to place. Oh my gosh! No, this is like watching a turtle on its back. Check it out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here you go. Please don't lay any eggs like without letting me know. But here you go. Speaking of eggs, let's do a really quick scan. Okay, we're good on eggs. Let's store the teeth. And we're gonna store all of these empty cocoons so that we can save them for later. And we, let's come over. Okay, pond spot. Hi, little one. I know this is a little odd and you like being on your own, but could you go ahead and uh, maybe eat that? I know it's a little weird, but there's a lot of great bacteria that is really gonna help you out. You'll grow big and strong, possibly. <gasps> Strawberry Lily! Uh, yeah, da, 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 da. Yes! Strawberry Lily is almost to adult stage! Woo! All right, Strawberry Lily, I need to make you more green too, for kind of loud, wow. Uh, let's see, Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move that out of the way. And then Strawberry Lily, maybe, okay, look, I want you to go ahead and I want you to maybe perhaps eat your parents' head. Sorry about that. Again, look at the great genes that you're getting though. That's an inheritance to be proud of. And I have to wonder, Cublet, it's gonna take you a while. I'm sorry, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you were in there, dragon fruit. I was just trying to make sure Cublet got some food. It takes a while for a raisin to be able to move. You know what I mean? Also, I have a box of raisins all the way over here. Oh my gosh. All right. Oop. Suitable is passing on. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh, de oh dear. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Here you go, Suitable. Please don't put your um, jeans there. Whoops. Huh. Well? Now there's more dog parts on the, the floor. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, and Pond Spot. No, Pond Spot. Well, you know what? That's probably okay. Pond Spot, I should probably take you upstairs because that's actually where everybody is. And I do want to teach you how to be a good digger dog, but I don't want to distract you from the very important process of eating a bunch of tiny dog heads so that we don't waste them. Oh, like Lily Spot actually had a lot of tiny, teeny, tiny little heads that, that I really appreciate. Look, they left behind so many of these very interesting, very good genes for our puppers. Ah, and actually I need to keep a better eye, eye on my celery line too. Maybe it's about time to breed the celery line as well. So we have dragon fruit, we have pixie dust, we have celery, we have mint seed. We're still working on trying to have some good diggers, but I've been getting distracted. Strawberry Lily, do you want your sibling to come over? I should probably invite your sibling over, shouldn't I? Because, yeah, you want to dig? Come on. Come on. Yeah! Praise for digging! Good! Yay! See? Good pup, good pup, good pup. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Keep digging. Keep digging. Please get me something cool. Keep digging. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, it's actually the river wallpaper. Strawberry Lily, good pop! Good pop! What do you want to eat? I will I, you feast upon. You know what? Maybe I'll get you some donuts. I will get you something good. Because we now have the river 
Wallpaper! That is one of the ones that I really, really wanted to get because it's going to help us. It's not the only aquatic thing you can put in, but look at how cool that is! I'm also in the wrong room! Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? I have no idea, but oh well. We'll roll with it! Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is. This is gonna be so fun! I really, really, really feel oddly encouraged to make legless dogs now because that will actually help us have a bunch of little puppies flying around that we can put in the gravitational thing, you know, and just have them kind of floating around. I might make it so that maybe only they can get in here so that, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have fun with it, I say. You know, trying to imagine having... <laughs> bunch of legless puppies go around and that not be <gasps> pawn spot whoops uh-oh uh-oh pawn spot did i okay <gasps> mm -hmm. <Pond spot> oh. <gasps> cubelet's an adult this is not a drill cubelet's an adult okay guys we have a lot of puppies that we actually need to go ahead and we need to welcome into the family next time Oh, oh no, there's, wait, oh phew. Okay, I thought there was a, a rogue dog egg again and I was a little bit concerned about that, but we're good. All right, let's put away that, there we go. But all right guys, it looks like we're actually going to have a lot of puppies to breed next time. I have to say I'm really proud of little Pond Spot. They're doing so good. They're already inside of one of the rivers and I really wanna make this place look nice. Oh, look how green they got! Pond Spot, you are definitely in the running for being one of the Celery Line's um, potential future mates. Just saying, good, good pup, good pup. Do you wanna practice digging? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Let's ignore the fact that, you know, this dog leg is still twitching. We're not going to think about that. That's actually going to give me nightmares tonight. And I will see you guys back here next time for... <gasps> Fish pellets? Fish pellets? That's going to do something cool. I just know it is. Oh, my gosh. Science! Who's Misha? No! <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!